Good day everyone, this is Serge from Albi. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to connect TensorFlow and Excel through the add-in Excel Wings. In order to do so we need to download the four files attached and we're going to open the 8 dogs and cats macro that's on the description below. Next we're going to click on the Excel Wings ribbon and we're going to set the path for the conda. This is where we have installed um, Anaconda and Python and everything related. Usually is where Excel Wings is installed as well, the DLL, DLLS that are needed. In my case it's C users, my username and then Anaconda. So we are going to specify that path under the Conda path uh, argument. Uh, for the Conda environment, usually it's the base one. As you may see, if I go to Anaconda Navigator, I can see that I have the base that's stated as root and I have another two installed. Uh, it doesn't matter, so we are going to use the base one. In order to achieve the best results, we should have everything installed there. And, and we are going to continue from that. Next, we are going to specify the path for the AI, the model that we have developed under TensorFlow. The link for the construction of this model is on the description below, so please follow that tutorial along in order to build it. Anyways, uh, I also left uh, on the description the model itself, so you may download it, then specify the path, unzip it, copy that path and paste it here on Excel under the cell 05 in order to work with that later. Next, we need to open the py file that we have attached on the description below as well. Open it with their, either with Notepad or some Python editor, um, doesn't matter. So, in order to work with that, we need to see that all the import for the libraries that we are going to use are there. As we may see on the beginning of the Python the file. Next, we are going to declare the functions as it's shown on the on the screen by setting the, that function and that argument and we're going to declare two functions first is the image process one where it's going to take the file well in this case the, the picture that we're going to analyze it's going to resize it to size 50 and it's going to make it on grayscale so it complains with the model image that it, it's, that it, it is expected. Next, we're going to declare the function for the text AI prediction. Uh, we're going to declare it as function and then the arguments for the function itself as well. Those arguments will be the text AI model path where it's the, the model itself saved. And then the other argument that we need to declare is the text file path those two arguments are declared right next to the function. It's important to note that. Then uh, after that it's being analyzed, it's going to relate it to the array text categories that, that we define it on the first section of this py. And that's basically it for this file. So it's going to return that evaluation. Next, we're going to explain it within the macro itself, the Excel file. So it's important to note that both files are on the same um, directory. This way we need to make less statements by just using the import function that's built on the Excel wings. Once we, per we have performed that, we may see everything it's related now. We are going to copy the first picture. It's going to be the cat test and then we're going to do the same for the dog test. Once this is done, we're going to hit the get image button. Uh, this is just a command to copy the images and get visual reference in our document. Next, we're going to hit the return text 
AI prediction and we are going to set control shift A in order to see the arguments that the function is requiring. It's, those are the arguments that we define it on the py file. So it's asking for the AI model path that's in the cell 05. So we are going to write 05 for, it, for that. We are going to lock it since that's fixed. Um, we're going to set the text file path. That's the image for the picture that it's going to analyze. And that's on L14. We're going to hit enter or the little mark arrow. And we're going to see that the model uh, that we define it, it's evaluating the either if it's a cat or either if it's a dog, the image that we set there. With this, we conclude the... Um, in this tutorial, remember to check out how to build this model and the link in the description below in order to build your own model. This is with 80, about 80% 80 accuracy for the image, so errors are expected. If you have any comment, any suggestion, please leave a comment on the section below and that will be it. Thank you for your attention.